Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm gonna to show you a really great basketball play called the center loop, or at least what I call the center loop, which is great against a man-to-man -man defense as well as a zone defense. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to show you a really great basketball play that you can run that will kill the man defense and that will murder the zone defense. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this ridiculously amazing basketball play. So here we are down to the clipboard and basically what we are trying to do is to either get a shot at the three point line at the free throw line extended or get a shot an easy layup from the low post from a high post pass. So let me show you this really quickly. This is a really great basketball play. So basically first what we are going to have is player three popping up to the free throw line. Player one is going to pass player three the ball and player five and player four are going to go down to the low post. At this time, player one and player two are going to cut down to the low post and pop back out, which in turn, against a man-to-man -man defense, should have open three-point shots from the free throw line extended. Pass it out and get a three-point shot. You also at this point have three rebounders. However, against a zone defense, you have a very high probability of having these two low post players being wide open. So let me show you against some defenses and let me explain to you how this play is just so amazing. Okay, so here I have the red team playing man-to-man -man defense. This guy's playing help defense, that's why he's sagging off pretty far. However, this is the first thing that's going to happen is a pass to the high post or the free throw line right dead center in the middle and at this time what we are going to have is player five and player four going down to that low post and player two as well as player one cutting down to that low post now what you're hoping for is these players to get caught up in their screens not him him and what we will have is hopefully open three-point shots from the three-point line. Now, what would happen against a zone defense? Well, let's go check that out. Okay, so here we have the 2-3 zone defense. So we actually, we could have the defense playing like this as well, depending on the coach and the players. So this would be our 2-3. So what we're going to have now is player three cutting up to the high post which is going to bring player five up as well and player one is going to pass to player three now at this time player five and player four are going to go down to the low post and we're going to have players one and players two cutting down to those low posts as well now what's going to happen is most likely because there's no players out in this area at all there's like there's nothing out there What's going to happen is these two players on the 2-3 are going to go and collapse on the player who is at the free throw line. And what we're, what's going to happen here is we're going to have open three-point shots here. Or if one of these low post players make a mistake. And what I mean by making a mistake is if you teach your guards, these two players, to be coming out as fast as they can to the free throw line extended saying ball 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 I need the ball that might just make the defense make a mistake and that just might make the defense pop out for help defense so that these guys don't have an open shot not knowing that now that leaves a player wide open for an easy layup and there's nothing I like more than an easy layup because even though if a three-point shots wide open you got a higher percentage of making a layup now let's check this out against a 3-2 zone and see how this works. So here we have the 3-2 most likely because this is the center of their zones. Most likely what you're going to have is a double team up top. So what you could do now is the same, obviously going to the high post, which will bring player 1 down and player 4 and 5 up a bit higher. And at this time we're going to have player 5 going down to the low post, as well as player four, which will now bring those two players down as well. Now, player three could have an open lane to the lay to have a layup as well, so don't forget about that option. That is a very, very, very good option to be able to score very easily. 
But let's say that doesn't happen. Well, you're going to have these two guards coming down. The, most likely, you're going to have something like a triple team of players probably in the middle. If not, you're going to have player two and three at the, the elbows. And then when that happens, we're going to have player two and player one popping out to the three-point line. And we may have an open three-point shot. But what we are really looking for against the 3-2 is for because player 3 is all alone at the free throw line when he's popping up and receiving the pass, he's going to have an open layup opportunity. And, well, let's go back to the beginning and let me show you how this works really quickly. By having player 3 pop up to that free throw line, he's going to be receiving the ball in possibly an open area. This is going to bring player 5 up most likely and by having these wing players cutting down that might be just a quick simple bounce pass to one of these players for an easy layup and that's one of the ways to score on this offense. Anyways I hope that you have enjoyed today's basketball play. If you have hit that like button and subscribe. I do post new videos every single day so I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another basketball video. Basketball players or basketball coaches that have players who are looking to get recruited, I can help you get recruited. First of all, you need a highlight tape, and I can help you with that in the link in the description below. Just look for the highlight tape link. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe, or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.